hello beautiful people welcome to another vlog in this vlog i just wanted to share some of the things that i do or i'm up to when i'm not in school and when i'm not in work what do i do in my pastime yeah so i hope you enjoy it give it a like and comment with pastime let's go straight to the castle i made it straight for the castle they want to make me their queen so on this wonderful, beautiful Monday morning, I had my immigration police appointment and uh, that I was going to again <laughs> because what happened was I had this appointment scheduled for two weeks earlier. But then when I arrived at the appointment, I realized that I'd forgotten my passport, which was like the crucial thing. I mean, it was my immigration appointment to renew my residency permit. So luckily for me, um, the lady that helped me that day, she helped me get a new appointment. That was like two weeks later and I didn't have to wait for months because that's the thing with these immigration appointments. You wait months, months to get them. So, <laughs> yeah. Because this was September and I have had applied for renewal in like June. So I only managed to get my appointment in September. So I arrived on time at the police station. I fought a little bit with like the ticket machine but managed to get it work. And I got my ticket number. And I was just waiting, waiting, waiting. They had not yet even started processing. Like I was giving like the first appointment of the day. <laughs> so just waiting for them to like open up the, the booths. I mean the office, like the police place was open but like they had to just like side working in like the booths where you go and do the whole handing your documents and fingerprints and everything so yeah i was just chilling waiting 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 my heart was beating like when you're in this like even though you know you didn't do something wrong your heart is just like do 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 <laughs> but it was also just paying attention to what's happening with the booths and when they started calling the numbers funny enough was they called all the other numbers before me because I was like 301. <laughs> but like they called 302 and 303. But I understood because they got like their tickets before me. So yeah. And then it was finally time to go in. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Jag tror jag har det. Ja. Men ska jag inte, kan jag inte lägga den här för jag har det. This is always nerve breaking. Damn! But I'm done and I had everything today. So, yay me! Can I find poster? So, I immediately went like a little, I did a little bit shopping right after the police appointment because I, I, I was looking for cream of coconuts not coconut cream it was specific instructions um it was supposed to be for uh, uh something that we're going to make on the weekend we had plans boob and i the plans changed of course but he wanted me to find cream of coconut and he was very specific so i went around in all the like um not the normal supermarkets but like the exotic ones if i could say and yeah so i was looking for a cream of coconut this is one of the supermarkets that i don't go into regularly i think i've only been in here maybe like twice this should have been my third time so i didn't even know which aisle to go into and all of that but it was just nice to see all the different type of products that they have because in these more exotic i don't know why i keep saying like exotic supermarkets because we have the out the usual supermarkets the kiwi remember but this one many is like you find more variety and the reason why i never go in here so often is because it's a little bit pricey it's a little bit more expensive i'm just a student child so <laughs> yeah it's it's on the pricier side so that's why i tend to avoid it um yeah so i really didn't know where i was going so it was just nice to see all the different um different they have a little bit they have a wider variety than in the um i'm not been maybe wider variety is like the wrong way to say it but they have like a more exotic variety instead of just having like usual product they have like other things that you wouldn't find in the normal supermarket or in the usual cheap supermarket i don't know if i could put it that way yeah so yeah this was the hunt for cream of coconut i literally hunted for cream of coconut the whole of this week i think because yeah we had plans to make cocktails actually on the weekend that was the plan so that's why the cream of coconut was well, i was looking for it or it was necessary and i couldn't find it i kept on finding all these like types of different coconut milk and coconut cream but it was specific that i was supposed to get cream of coconut yeah so we're gonna have we were, our the theme was to have like tropical cocktails for the weekend but yeah, I didn't find cream of coconut, so I decided to grab some of these glass noodles. I've been meaning to get them, so I was like, hey, I'm in the store, so why not? And I think it was also just the awkwardness of <laughs> going to such a big supermarket and then not walking out with anything. But yeah, I did take a, a nice good look around because I'm not in here often, so it's always nice to know like if I needed something else again that I could come here and get it.
I was just so surprised like when I came outside to find that it had rained and it looked like it rained a lot and I was like hmm was I in the supermarket that long because it was like so wet and yet it was so sunny Then I went to this really cool like gift shop thing place that has like really cool stuff if you wanna like set up for parties and everything and all of that. I needed to make a gender reveal box so I knew this would have like some of the stuff that I would need to put in the box. So yeah, I found my data section and I found some really really cool stuff. Uh, just based on which section I was looking at so much, maybe you can guess what gender of box I was making. But yeah, it's a really, really cool store with like all these really cool stuff, especially if like in decorations, party boxes, like that kind of thing. They have a really nice, good variety. And yeah, I love the box that I made. And I think it turned out real, real, real good. Then I had to go back home. I have to pass through university to get to where I stay because I literally live like right behind the university. And it was cool. There was like this really, there was like a flock of birds on the lawn. You can't see them and I was like trying to like shoot them away so they could get up and like fly. But there was like so many birds. The camera just couldn't pick them up because they were across the road. But there was like so many tiny little birds on the grass. But yeah, the uni looks so nice. So then I was headed off to the gym after quick outfit change. I've not always been a gym girly. I've been a home workout at home girly. Um, I've always been uh, into doing fitness. I think I started out with like dance workouts back home in Zambia. I don't know. Maybe like in, I don't even know when. In 2017, 2018? Around that time, like after I finished uni, I started doing these dance workouts. They were always my go-to workouts. And then I just like officially got into home workout so now i'm trying to incorporate gym in because i am incorporating lifting more weights so yeah i love this aspect of keeping my body fit because when i feel fit i feel good so i've really been enjoying going to the gym and also just starting to learn how to use all this gym machinery that nobody tells you that you need to learn how to use when you go to the gym but I've been enjoying it so far and um, yeah, I look forward to seeing how far I will go in this journey at the gym. But so far it's been okay. It's I've just been doing the simple stuff, but it's been cute. It's been good. And also I'm starting to collect gym outfits. So yeah, <laughs> it's been really fun. down at the gym <laughs> and then it was back to hunting for cream of coconut 
I yeah, I did this throughout the week. So each time I was in the city or I was close to a supermarket, I'll just go just to check if somehow by some miracle they had cream of coconut. But yeah, this 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 supermarket I went in because I also needed to get some like fresh food, like ready made food. I didn't get this because it was just like the salad bar, so I went to another place. Yeah, that was because right after I went to do my <laughs> hospital visits. I had a friend who was in the hospital at this time, like during this week. So I was going to the hospital every day at this point uh, to take food, snacks, and also just to go visit and say hello. So this was like my Monday visit. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm going to Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Dinner outfit check. I'm wearing green and tights and everything because there ain't nobody catching a cold. Let's go. I think I'm going to be late, but let's go. But even like the desserts, I mean, you don't make sense. No, 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 it's. I wish I gave it much more fancier names. You know, dessert sounds like, you know, yeah. when it's like fancier names. It was. Oh. But this is not an ox. So it's the tail? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Make the best part. Not the, not the fluffy part. Uh, Say hi. hi. But it looks so cute. Yeah. Let me help you test them. It can't be that easy, guys. Come on. Ooh. It can't be that easy. Let's celebrate. Oh, congrats. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get to the next level. <laughs> One, two, three. okay okay we'll just leave this here but this was a box that i made it was really cute and they really loved it but we'll keep the surprise a surprise <laughs> then this was tuesday tuesday wasn't as eventful as monday was as you can see i'm taking stuff to the hospital for my hospital visit i did this immediately after my class um yeah this was like the hospital kitchen right outside the room where my friend was staying and i wanted to show this because it was like i want to say a fully stocked kitchen because you could literally go in and make a sandwich anytime you want and there was like this juice and yogurt that you could just pick anytime you wanted my friend wanted the yogurt so i was taking her yogurt so i just wanted to show like they had like this really cute kitchen then right after the, my visit to the hospital i did a quick run to eye care and I said a quick run because, you know, IKEA is huge. It's hard to do a quick run, but I literally did a quick run because I needed new, a new bed set. So I literally just went, got that, and I was out. Didn't look at nothing else. I, I promise. I didn't look at anything else. Then I just went home, spent the rest of the day doing laundry and, you know, making dinner and all of that. Just doing home stuff because um, I was never home this past week. It's Wednesday morning and I'm off to the gym. I have to do the gym early in the morning today because 
I have a bunch of stuff to do the rest of the day. So, morning gym time. So, after the gym, I had classes and then I had to make a quick run to the hospital uh, because my friend was getting discharged this day. She was supposed to get discharged on Tuesday, but then they changed it to Wednesday. And I had a bunch of stuff to do this day, so it had to be like literally a quick, quick run. Uh, just to help her get home from the hospital so yeah this was me rushing over and yeah Thursdays are a really really packed day for me but somehow somehow I've managed to be squeezing in swimming lessons and I'm really grateful that I've gotten to do these swimming lessons because I think one of the things for this year was to learn things that I can't do. So I've been learning how to ride a bike, I've been learning how to swim. So these are really, really fun. I hope in the future vlogs I can actually show how much progress I have made during these lessons. On Friday, I had really, really fun time. I, of course, I had work and school and everything, but in the evening, I facilitated my first amnesty course as a course holder and it was really really cool it was really fun and i enjoyed it so yeah this was my week in a nutshell in a nutshell i hope you enjoyed it Well, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me to see the things that I do when I'm not in school or when I'm not at work. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.